Mr. Kalpesh Javeri, what is new at the Diamond Club West Coast? Diamond Club West Coast is poised for a great year. 2024 is going to be a good year for our club. We had a lot of activities and we had our conference, annual conference, where our 15 board members, including four women board members, as well as 40% of our board is under the age of 45 met. We selected and finalized the working of our 13 committees, which is a heartbeat of our organization. And we charted a course for our club. Uh, included in the activities, just like previous years, has been our monthly luncheons. Plus, we end up going and having a summer sawari and a holiday gala at the end of the year. But this year, additionally, we are bringing in keynote speakers, including Martin Rappaport in the month of September, as well as a few other noted speakers, either in person or through webinars. And additionally, we are reaching out to other clubs and organizations, hosting training days and encouraging bilateral working uh, between other clubs and ourselves who are interested in other clubs who are interested in ourselves. And finally, we are empowering our membership, all 325 of them with AI, teach them how to use AI to harness the energy of uh, artificial intelligence to increase their efficiencies as well as increase their profitability. Mr. President, Kalpesh Javeri, what is your perspective on the local diamond market? The diamond market has undergone some tremendous changes in 2024. Uh, it's almost like a reset button has been set. Uh, when the dust clears, I think there is going to be emergence of uh, new categories, new segments, even new players. It's a little too early and too premature to speak or speculate about winners and losers. But I will say that keep an eye out for certain definite factors which are going to be emerging. Uh, first of all, uh, there's going to be a return to natural, especially in categories which were almost unheard of or unsaleable for the last uh, 18 months. Uh, look out for that. There is going to be a resurgence on that category. There's also going to be a resurgence of larger uh, investment grade diamonds, whether white or colored or fancy colored diamonds. You're going to see more affluent buyers and investors looking at those as a hegemony against the instability as well as the uncertainty of these times. And finally, lab grown itself is going to be making a big push towards larger volume sales. This is going to come through fashion, accessories, and even technology. All three areas require large quantities of uh, production or of merchandise, which is what lab grown requires in order to sustain and to survive. Uh, so I think there's going to be a lot of new changes coming around. Uh, I'd say for all those who are keeping their eye or involved in the marketplace, uh, a simple mantra that I follow, which is find a niche or find a need and figure out how you're going to fill that. Once you've done it, uh, start small and scale rapidly.